This is Twit. I want to jump the tracks here a little bit, uh, Keith, because I notice in your background you've got uh, a bunch of hardware there and, uh, and what appears to be an oscilloscope, which is one of my favorite things from my own past. And, and, and you started in hardware, if I'm not, not mistaken, at Tektronix, which in its day was, was quite the august organization. Um, um, you know, there was a lot of Tektronix gear in labs in various places. Um, and so I'm wondering if, uh, I think, I, I don't know to, to what extent young people these days are stabbing things with screwdrivers and electronic probes to see what's going on inside, or to what extent you're still doing that. Um, but I think it's important. <laughs> so I'm wondering if you have some thoughts about that. Absolutely. Uh, so um, one of my uh, pastimes for the last 15 years or so has been flying amateur rockets. Um, and amateur rockets are, you know, SD size and larger. Um, uh, some of the hardware that I have built has flown to more than 30 kilometers up into the air. Um, a, a partner and I, BDL Garby, who has uh, uh, actively been very actively involved uh, since the founding days of the Debian project, um, uh, started collaborating on building electronics hardware for our rocketry hobby. Um, and so we started building uh, uh, what are called flight computers, uh, which are uh, sensor-driven computers to control parachutes or control additional motors or control other activities within the rocket. Um, and so that's a great hardware and software project uh, that we've been involved in. We have a little company that sells this stuff. Uh, so I've gotten uh, gotten the chance to kind of get back to my childhood roots of building uh, and designing hardware on my bench. Uh, right now on my bench, I have so many wires and computers, it's uh, kind of scary. Um, mm -hmm. We build mostly, of course, uh, little microcontroller-based devices um, uh, and uh, and other things like that. Uh, the oscilloscope you see in the background of, of my image is uh, an old uh, HP uh, uh, oscilloscope from the generation that uh, BDL uh, developed while he was at HP. Uh, I'm very comfortable with things that have a lot of knobs on them like that, um, and so it's 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 kind of a delight to to operate that device. Uh, right now, I'm working for a silicon uh, design startup called Sci5. Uh, we build RISC-V processors. Um, and one of the things on my bench right now is a giant Xilinx FPGA that's, uh, that's uh, holding a RISC-V processor bitstream uh, that we're using to do bring up of a new, a new processor. So it's, it's fun to get back down into the low levels of the hardware <clears throat> and kind of play with, uh, play with the bits again. Um, I have uh, made my own surface mount circuit boards. I've done a lot of circuit design these days, uh, a lot of embedded software, uh, which has been a lot of fun. Wow, there uh, you've you've gone a lot farther than I ever did with either rocketry. Well, it was pretty much everything technical. Uh, I was a novice ham in in uh, around the time you were born. Actually, <laughs> I was looking at your at your history and. Uh, um, and uh, but I still you know the only code I know is Morse, which t also tells you how how old I am. Uh, uh, but th that's I mean, it, I just think it's so it, it's so important for people to live in the real world as well as the virtual one. Um, do you do anything with drones as well as rockets? We do not. Yeah, no, we do not actually do much with drones. Uh, that's uh, obviously an adjacent hobby, uh, and we have a, a good friend Andrew Tritchell in Australia who does an enormous amount of work in the drone space. Uh, with his Ardu Pilot stuff, uh, and we certainly collaborate uh, with uh, with Andrew and the and the Ardu Pilot community on a lot of similarities between rocketry hardware and uh, and drone stuff. Uh, rocketry uh, electronics are far simpler uh, than what's in most drones. Uh, most rockets that we are involved with don't have any uh, don't have any control surfaces, um, and so the uh, the kinds of controls that rocket flight computers uh, have are much more limited. Uh, in terms of putting out parachutes and that kind of thing and tracking the devices. So it's an adjacent hobby, but it's not something I'm directly involved with. 